Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's the 1st of November which means it's time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download the printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel and you don't know what sheet load of cards is, let me tell you a little bit about it before we get on to November's file. Each month, I like to stop by with a free printable for my subscribers that tells you how to make the most of your pattern paper and cardstock so you can make a sheet load of cards. A sheet load is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards depending upon the month. And in November, if you follow the sketch and supply list and the cutting guidelines, it will yield you 6 cards. This is a free printable for my subscribers, and at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can download it. If you want to see any of my past sheet load of cards videos, I do have a playlist linked in the description box below. In today's video, I'll talk a little bit about the printable and what November looks like. I'll share a look at the supplies I use for my first set of cards, and I will show you that first set. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can get that link to download it. In front of me is the November 2020 sheet load. Here is the sketch that you'll be making this month. And it is another special edition where you're going to use your 6x6 paper. You really enjoyed that when I did the 6x6 a couple months ago. So I decided to make another one. The awesome thing about November is... With just three pieces of 6x6 six six pattern paper and then some cardstock, it is six total pieces of cardstock, you can get six cards. Super quick, super easy. And then you could always spice it up a little bit. If you want to add layers or add die cuts or like you'll see on my card set later, I added a scalloped die cut behind my sentiment circle. Like every month, I tell you the supplies you'll need, how many you'll yield, and then I give you the dimensions for a single card in case you like the layout but you don't want to make a sheet load of them. At the bottom over here are alternatives or other ways to use the sketch. You might want to rotate it. Like I mentioned, you could add layers. You can change the shape and size of the sentiment block. You can really make this your own. Now, if you would like to share a look at your sheet load of cards with us, you can do a video here on YouTube or share a picture on Instagram. If you do that, please use the hashtags that are given at the top of the printable. That way I can look for that and come see what you made. There's also an option for you to send a card in to me for an end of the month video. I will have the show us your sheet load video that gives you all of those details linked in the description box below. But if you do have any questions, as always, make sure to leave those in the comments and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. The second page of the file includes the cutting guides. Even though I accidentally left this sketch and supply list up here, on the file that you download, it will say cutting guides. This gives you an idea of how to cut each piece of pattern paper. You have the dimensions here. It shows your six card bases and then how to cut your cardstock. Now, if you're going to get started today, before I come back tomorrow with my process video to show you how I made my first set, keep in mind a couple things. I laid out CS1 or cardstock 1 with 3 to a page just to make it more uniform for my cutting diagram page. But you could actually get 8 total if you flip your cardstock portrait and then cut them that way. But since we only made 6, I just went ahead and did 3 per page. Over here for your sentiment circle, this is a great way to use up some of those white cardstock scraps or other colored cardstocks that you might want to put your sentiment on. So you might not even need a full sheet of cardstock for this. Before I share a look at the first set of cards I made this month, I wanted to give you a little look at most of the supplies I used. For my pattern paper, 
I use Simple Stories Summer Fresh 6x6 pad. This unfortunately wouldn't be for sale anymore, but I'm sure there's something similar out there or you already have something in your stash that will work because this actually came out in 2012. For my stamps, I used this Encouraging Greeting set from Pretty Pink Posh. I did three of each, Sending You Smiles Across the Miles and You Make Me Smile. I thought these sentiments would be perfect for cards that I send to subscribers. If you do send me in a card for this Show Us Your Sheet Load feature or a Just Because card, I do usually try to write you back a little note. Now it might take me a couple months and I might not send you a note every time you send me a card if you send in monthly, but I do like to send out a little note to say thank you and let you know that I appreciate you taking the time to send in a card. As always, if you do want to send me a card, my P.O. box is in the description box below. To add a little extra texture to the card, since the sketch does have quite a bit of white space around the border, I emboss that with my honeycomb embossing folder. I just like the texture that that adds and I hope that later when you see the set I made, you'll agree. For the sentiments on some of my cards, there was a little extra white space. So I brought in these clear glitter dots that have the silver borders from Elizabeth Craft Designs to add a little sparkle and to take up some of that white space. I do have affiliate links to some of these products in the description box below if you're interested in checking those out. Are you ready to see the first set? I really think this sketch ended up making some cute cards. And like I mentioned before, you're free to jazz these up as much or as little as you want. One of the great things about sheet load of cards is it is for beginning card makers all the way to advanced. It doesn't matter if you just have a trimmer and some pattern paper, or if you have all of the latest and greatest tools at your disposal. It's a great way to get started and it's a great way to just increase your stash. A set of these would make a great gift for a friend or family member, or I do have lots of subscribers who donate them to retirement homes and to the military. If you already love sheet load and you know a crafter in your life who might like it, I hope that you'll share my videos with them and have them subscribe so they can download the printables for themselves. You might have already noticed the honeycomb embossing during the close-ups that I showed you, but I really think that that adds something to kind of that thick white border, and it gives it a little bit more texture and dimension. Speaking of dimension, because I am gonna be mailing these out, I did make sure to keep them nice and flat for the envelope because I have discovered lately that just about any bump or anything extra is gonna cost that 15 cents because it's non-machinable. So you might wanna keep that in mind too when you're crafting. If you're gonna be handing these out, add all the layers you want, but if you're gonna be mailing it, you might want to keep it flat. Before I let you know how you can download the printable for free, I wanna remind you that tomorrow I'll be back with the process video and all of my collaborators will be sharing their first set of cards using the November 2020 sheet load of cards. They're gonna be here on YouTube, on their blogs, and over on Instagram. If you wanna go ahead and check out their links and get subscribed or follow them, everybody is listed in the description box below. Are you ready to find out how to download that file? If you're interested in downloading the November 2020 sheet load of cards, don't forget I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. Now we do just go on the honor system here. I'm not gonna make you prove to me that you're a subscriber, but please just go ahead, click on that subscribe button. It's free for you to do that, and then you can download the file. This is for your own personal use. Please do not send the file to others or sell it. Please have them come to this video if they're interested in downloading it for themselves. All the way at the bottom of the description box below is a link to the latest file. You can open it and view it on screen or you can download it and print it. I do always print mine in color when my printer is not out of ink, but you can definitely print this in black and white and it will be just as useful to you. If you run into any questions, again, as always, let me know, leave those in the comments. 
and I hope to see you back here tomorrow so I can show you my process and share with you the links to the collaborators cards. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.